Hey, this is Edgar from Dr. Photography of CF. Today's project, our today's date's uh, April 13th, 2020. Today's project, I'm going to be working on uh, building my own hot boxes. I built the nukes, so I'm kind of going a little bit based off of that. I'm going to do the seal bottom on it. I'm going to put those circular seals on them. But um, that's going to be this project here. I'm building them instead of half inch plywood, I'm doing a three quarter inch plywood. So I got my measurements, uh, well, actually, not me, my boy got my measurements. The uh, rolling down on those are coming out, but uh, lengthwise 20, 20 inches and then filled by 16 and a quarter. But uh, my problem is that I can't, uh, I don't know how to build those joints up there. They're like little square joints here. Let me show you real quick. Let me show it's coming. Okay, yeah, so you see these like little square joints here. I can't do that, so I'm not going to bother with that. It's just going to be a little bit too much work for me, so I'm just going to do. Um, a 20 inch long way and then from here to here is 15 inches exactly now the only thing i am going to change on it is since these are going to be like those bottoms top wise they're about nine and a half inches long and then by building my own uh frames i've realized that the frames are nine and one eighth inches long so it doesn't really give you too much room here at the bottom so i'm going to extend my boxes out a little bit more uh, maybe give them another inch, so 10 and a half inches is what I'm going to be doing with mine. So, I'm going to get my, I have some scrap wood I can use to build it, but I'm going to actually use a four by and I have that's a three quarter inch. And the only reason I'm going to use that is um, I want to see how many I can get out of one. If I can get five nuts out of a four by eight, I'm hoping I can get hopefully two hides out of a four by eight. So, I'm going to get started with this project and we'll go from there. All right, so I have my board set up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up doing uh, my 20 inch cuts real quick for the um, for the sides. And then from there I can uh, set up the table saw and use that to do my, um, use that for my um, 10 and a half inch cut. So then it'll be a little bit straighter on my side walls. Already looks like there's a line here and it's kind of following that line right there. So that's good. I'm gonna grab my chalk marker. I really like this chalk marker. I've had it for a while, but I've never really used it for uh, just recently. Go where you get a straight line and just align it and, and there it is. Not to refill it, so the lines are coming out a little bit. So, but it happens. So let me um my bench cord plugged in. Let me get my steel sandwich right now. Boom down here on the table. So that looks good. I'm gonna oh, put on gloves and earmuffs and get started on these cuts. Let me get all this set up. All right, here goes my first cut. Right, so I got my gloves, I got my ears, I got to find eyes because I keep a lot of dirty in my eyes. So here's my cut. Yeah, it's straight, so that's good. Uh, 
Next measurement I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you that about my measurements, but uh, so my 20 inch, I'm going to do my 15 inch, and then I'm going to see how much powder I have left in there, and then we'll go from there. So let me get those cuts done, and I'll show you guys how I cut my nine and a half, um, or ten and a half, up for the walls and stuff. I got my table saw set up for uh, cutting ten and a half inches. So the way I do it is because I don't. I bought this at the uh, pawn shop, so it come with everything I need. Is I use these clamps and this piece of wood that's straight, and then all I do is uh, I'll measure out from here to over here, and you can see ten and a half inches. Same thing back here, ten and a half inches. So I already know that we're good there. So now I'll just turn it on and I'll run my my cuts and I can get them all done at once, uh, plant these down nice and tight to make sure that the wood doesn't shift and we should be good to go. So um, let me get everything set up and I'll get started on that. Right, so the first board I'm going to be is going to be my front near the uh, 15 inch. So I know that for my cuts, all this wood on between the blade and this piece of wood here is the one I'm going to want. So let's get started with this. Four cuts and I still have quite a bit of a full bite left. I still haven't done my measurements for my bottom and my tops, so we'll see on that. But four of them that's good, that means I'm gonna get at least two hides out of it, which is what I was expecting. So I'm gonna cut my 20 inch, um, I'm gonna cut my 20 inch, and then we'll go from there. But uh, I mean, if you've seen me cut one, you've seen me cut them all, so no point in having you guys watch all that. Alright, this next cut's a little bit difficult because I'm doing the lip where the uh, frame's hanging out to. So you got about a 3 8 of an inch gap right here. And this is of about a quarter of an inch only. Or uh, more like half an inch, sorry. And this is of about half an inch. So, well, one thing I always do is uh, I test my cuts before I, uh, before I do them. So I use my scratch piece of wood to do that. So I'm going to do it on, on this one right here. Just to make sure that they're going to be good to go. But let me get that set up. Well, I huh. got some good stuff and we'll go from there. I got to plug it back in because anytime I'm messing with it, I always like to unplug it just to be on the safe side. So there you go. See, there's my cut where my uh, lip's going to hang at. So that was a good cut. I like it. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to do my, oh, sorry if I was yelling. I have my ear on still. So I'm going to do my, uh, I'm going to do my, oh man, I did the wrong one. Oh, well, how am I going to, supposed to use this one, but eh, oh well. So um, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do these here real quick. 
do all four of them. And then um, once that gets done, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how I do the uh, the top cuts to cut off the top of the bottom. But let me get this set up and we will get started on that. So let me cut these real quick and then we'll go from there. All righty, Navarro. If you got this measurement good, then you should be able to just use the same one and cut along here. The only thing I did have to do was raise the blade up a little bit and just give me that. Kind of just put it on the side and make sure it's going to go through the uh, cut. So let's do that real quick. And let's see how it comes out. So it came out um, not perfect, but I mean, it's just little pieces you're going to have to peel off, but it's not that big of a deal, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and um, finish these off and uh, I'm gonna put this thing together and we can do the, uh, the bottom on it. So like I said, I'm not going to cut all these and explain to you guys. I can even, uh, if I want to, even grab the sander and just kind of sand all this off, which I probably will do. Alright, so I did sand these down and it did help out a lot. So let's go ahead and uh, put them together and see what we got. Let's grab my scissors here. So. Now, since this is three quarter inch plywood, I am just, um, I'm just um, screwing it in. I'm not hammering or anything like that, taping it or nothing because uh, it's pretty thick, so the screws go in, no problem whatsoever. So, that's what I'm doing. Y'all probably never been struggling like this, but I'm now we're doing the, uh, the nuts, huh? <laughs> so, let me uh, grab this put it on there. Yeah. All right. And this is, I was pre drilling the holes, but uh, one of the issues I found since this is plywood, it has a tendency to grid it a little bit more than without drilling them, believe it or not. I found that a little hard to, to believe, also. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, well, screw them in. And the wood wasn't really ready, it was more of a, it just wasn't really as tight and secure as I wanted it to. Those are my box of screws. I said this, I'll see what. So, I'm going to have to here just to kind of make sure everything works. Perfectly aligned. So, what I'll do is just uh, the corners first, and then once I get the corners done, I'll flip it on its side and do the rest. Pre the whole just a little bit longer. Especially since the wood has a tendency of moving on you. Don't let me go. Get a quick drill. 
Üstüne nasıl gelin öyle kutlayın. Üstüne doğru yetiştirin. I'm going to do these down here too real quick, just a quick um, little pre-drill hole. So much for a pretty quick drill. I'm going to do all the way on this. And I'm going to see if I can't find later on actual set of plywood, just a regular piece of solid wood. I think it would work a lot better. Just because the plywood, when you get the seeds in there, it'll, it kind of splits it sometimes. Which I'll probably use glue, but I would say that these would have a couple of, couple of things on there. So, let me, uh, I want to finish up this side, and then I'll do the other side off camera, because the other side is the exact same thing the other side. Yeah, that one's just kind of spinning. I didn't get a good grip on it because it went through too far. This one will probably be the same thing. Yeah. All right, so we we'll got the other side. Get that done, and then uh, I'll put it on and try to show you guys how I finish doing it. All right, so I cut my bottom board out. Um, I did it a 16 and 3 eighths by 1 inch, or 21 inches. So that should give me about a one inch landing board i don't think they're going to need too much more so that's it on this one here let me um uh, just putting my finger on making sure that i have it flipped over the right way what i mean by that is um uh, make sure that this is the side that i did my trimming on like i did out here and it's a little hard to see because it's dark but let me screw this on and then uh go from there and then i'll obviously my lid i want it to be the same size so my lid's not going to be uh 21 by 16 and 3 eighths, my little be 20 inches by 16 and 3 eighths. So let me get that screwed on and uh, get the lid put on here, or not put the uh, put on here, but get the lid cut out and uh, I'll show you guys the end result. All right, so you can see I got my lid on here, it fits good. Uh, I'm gonna put the lid on here, so pretty much done. The only thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put some uh, handles on it, just so I can pick it up on the side here. And, uh, I found for handles, well, uh, these pieces of wood right here, they're my leftovers that I used for my building, the, uh, my thing. These are my three quarter inch top things, so I'm just going to glue it and screw it in right here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it for a little bit extra, extra, I guess, strength to hold it, and then uh, go from there, so. I'm not gonna, well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll probably put it like two inches down from the top just to give me a little more juice and uh, to hold on to it. So, down maybe two inches. Alright. Gonna put my glue on here. Not too much, just. Not that it'll hold on a little bit better. Not two inch line. Okay, so I've got my two inch line in this actually below my two inch line now. Above it, not in the middle. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So if I do I end up putting four on it. I'm going to put a handle on the, on the lid also. Uh, see if I'm going to do those real quick, but not too sure. I'm going to do those yet. Yeah. Alright, let me do the other 
first time, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I got my hands all on you now, so I can just lift it up and put it down. I'll be enjoying really trying out. Lift it like that. So hopefully those help out. We will see. Let's get a handle for the lid. Check for how I'm gonna do that, and then I'll go from there. All right, so here's my handles. So I can just you know, pick it up and take it off. Um, I just got a piece of scrap wood. This is actually this thing. Is, I just measured an inch and a half in and I cut it on each side and then I just screwed it in the back with uh, three screws on each side and that's it. So this box here is pretty much done. Let me show you guys. So here it is. Obviously I still gotta put an entrance on it and whatnot, but and the way it's a good box is well, I haven't checked it. I guess we'll take it together uh, if it's a good box or not. And it's another hive, a regular hive that fits on top of it. And it does, look at that. So, that was good. So, that's perfect. Let's, is that showing? Yeah, so you can see it's all good. So, can't complain. Um, $20 piece of 3x4 plywood. A little bit more than $20, but not too much more. And uh, so far, I got two hives out of it, so I can't beat that. Let me get it painted, and then I'll drill the hole. I want to paint it first, then I'll drill the hole. So let me get that in real quick. And from home, I'm just going to do a one inch hole here in the front. So. Now just fill in till um, the drill bit itself comes out on the other side. Once it does, I'll come in through this side and uh, that way it doesn't split the wood. And there we go. There's my <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. So there's my hide entrance. Let me put my. Um, Reducer on it. This is my my last one. I actually ordered some more, and this one's actually perfect. I went bigger with the hole, and I should got a little bit higher, but oh well. But yeah, so now that'll cover it perfect. Let me out. Put a screw and get that in there. All right. So the best screws I found to work for these are these. Uh, I don't know because that's kind of these little ones. They're for like uh, main doors and stuff like that. But uh, we get them for the food truck, so. To put up the screen door, the ones that work the best they, they fit in here good. And there you go. So, all I do is just kind of align it. Let me put this easier part of that in there. So, just align it. Come in, put it in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You have sucking a lot of that sawdust. Make sure it's nice and tight. So. <coughs> oh, man. Oh. It might be a little too tight. And there it goes. And you just full entrance with a queen excluder and then locked in. So. That's the hive that I built. I'll probably end up using this one tonight for a beer removal that we have here on the northwest side. So, this is it. If I wanted to, you know, since I'm using it for beer removals, I could screw the lid on, but I'm not going to. I'll just, uh, I'll just use straps like I always do. But that's, uh, that's another option, which no point your two back pole only require two screws on each side if I really want to do it. But then if I forget my drill, then I'm SOL. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, any questions, comments, or anything, uh, let me know. And I'm hoping this will save me some money uh, making my own frames and um, making my own hide boxes. Uh, but we'll find out. So once again, like I said, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.